What's up, people? How's it going? Math, once again. Think of math like a puzzle. Like, my family breaks out a puzzle every Christmas, pretty much, and you just sit there and you just mindlessly try to figure out where a piece goes, you know? That's kind of like math, except we got a little more pressure with deadlines, whatnot. Anyway, chapter 8, some of you are loving this little geometry hiatus that we're on here. Um, I like it, too. So, let's get back to it. 8.3 is about quadrilaterals. Yesterday we talked about, well, last time, we talked about triangles. And the angles in a triangle measure up to 180. It's going to be different with quadrilaterals, but first, let's talk about the different types of quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral, of course, means quad. That means four. So there are four sides in every quadrilateral. Look at these different quadrilaterals. Notice there are four sides on every one of them. Okay? Trapezoid, quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Only one pair. And this right here, even though I have a funky little corner down here, this is a quadrilateral. I'm going to put these little arrows, meaning that those two sides are parallel. These two sides could be 90 degree angles, doesn't matter. That's still a trapezoid. Sorry, I said quadrilateral earlier. That's a trapezoid. All right? A parallelogram means that both sides are parallel to each other. Now, notice there are two arrows here, two arrows here. That means this side's parallel to this one, and one to one, so that side's parallel with that one. Okay? A rhombus has four sides of equal length. So see these red congruence marks? Each side is the same length. So skip down to a square for a second here. Is a square a rhombus? Is a square a rhombus? Yes, it is, because four sides are all the same. Now, pay close attention to this. This is like uh, I don't know. This this is like the key to life. Rectangle and square. Okay? By definition, a rectangle has four sides. It is a quadrilateral <clears throat> with four right angles. They call it here a parallelogram with four right angles. That's true because that side's parallel with that, and that one's parallel with that, but it has four right angles. And if it has four right angles, automatically it's going to be parallel, a parallelogram. Now, is a square a, a rectangle? Look at the square down here. Is this a rectangle? Yes, because there are four right angles. Okay, but what specifically is a square? It's a parallelogram with four sides of equal length and four right angles. So is this rhombus? Um, <clears throat> is this rhombus a square? No, because these aren't 90 degree angles. So a square has to have 90 degree angles and the same sides. So, look at the rectangle. Is that a square? No, because the sides are different lengths. But is the square a rectangle? Yeah, because there are 90 degrees in each angle there. So, see if you, see if you caught on here. Every square is a rectangle. Is every rectangle a square? No. Is every rectangle a square? No. For example, that rectangle is not a square. Okay, enough on that. Um, take a look at these angles. Now, here's the here's a second point to learn, and honestly, this this video is not going to be that long either. <clears throat> look at this piece of paper right here and right here. You took a quadrilateral and you cut it like that, and you've got two triangles now. Okay, how many degrees are in one triangle? All the interior angles here. If you thought 180, you are a genius. There is 180 degrees in this one and in this one. If you stick them together like they stuck them together here, aren't the total angle measurements, that one and that one, to make that total one, this one, these two to make that total, and that one, 
the total would be 180 plus 180. So, kind of just a little visual to make this point every quadrilateral. If it has four sides, it's a quadrilateral. Every one of them. The angles inside all add up to 360. Okay? Triangles is 180. Quadrilaterals is 360. So, right here, how could you figure out what X is? Easy. That one plus that one plus that one. And subtract that from 360, and it'll give you that, which is what they do here. Add them all up to give you 360, and boom, there you go. But <clears throat> it's not always so simple because uh, they might try something like this. I don't know, find the values of x and y. Oh, that's weird. Well, a few different things you could do here. There's two different routes, and I'd like you to be able to recognize these two routes on this. Route number one. Recognize that this is a quadrilateral inside here. Okay, one, two, three, four sides. So that all of these inside add up to 360. So 100 plus 80 plus 40 is 220. And then plus something gets a, gets a 360. 220 plus x equals 360. So what's, two, three, what's 360 minus 220? 80 and 60, so 140, right? x equals 140. Okay, this is still route number one. We just found x is 140. Now, y, x and y, are a linear pair. They form a straight angle. How many degrees are in a straight angle? 180, like a sunset. All right? Makes me think of Lion King. Sunset, or sunrise, okay? This is always 180. So, 180 minus 40, 140 makes y equal 40. I should put degrees here. Okay, that was route number one. Route number two would be this. You tell me which one you like more after I'm done. Number two would be, ooh, these lines are parallel. I am an observant student, and I see that these lines are parallel. And this line is cutting through the parallel lines. That's a transversal. We learned about this, uh, what was that, last lesson? So 40 and y are corresponding angles, meaning they are exactly the same. Oh, because of my observation, my bright, intelligent mind, I can just say right off the get-go that y equals 40. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, we've got a straight angle here, so what would x have to be? 180 minus 40. I'm gonna give you x and x therefore would be 140. Which method did you like more? This one, number two, was less work. You just had to be more observant that there were parallel lines and you had uh, corresponding angles. Yeah, yeah, geometry. All right, real quick, just to give you a quick rundown. Um, linear pair here, 180 minus 115 will give you that. 90 plus 90 plus that plus y is going to give you 360, so you could figure out y by that. On number 16 here, these are vertical angles. 54 plus 54 plus x equals 180, because that's a triangle, so you could find out what x is, and then that's what that is, because they're vertical angles. Then you could do whatever that is, plus 110 plus 105 plus y would give you 360, right, because this is a quadrilateral. You can figure out why like that. And <clears throat> finally, down here towards the bottom, find the value of x and the unknown angle measures. So you got to figure out what x is and what angle E is and what angle H is. Well, you just set up a big equation here. 58 plus 62 plus 24x plus 1 plus the 25x minus 6 all equals, this is a quadrilateral, so it all equals 360.
combine like terms, you can add the 24x with the 25x. You can add the 58 and 62 and the 1 and subtract 6 from that. Combine like terms and I don't think I need to go through the math here because you guys know how to do that. Okay. Problem 24 is kind of the same way. That plus that plus that plus that all equals 360. Alrighty then. And I think I might assign number 26 for you in class. And let me give you a little hint right, right away. Find, and this is a challenge problem. These ones are hard. Find the value of x and y in the diagram. Explain your reasoning. Well, there's a lot more information for this top quadrilateral, right? So, maybe I should zoom in here for you. That's 90, 122, 60. So you could figure that what that out it. <laughs> you could figure out what that is by doing 360 minus these other three, right? Then if you know what x is, you can figure out what this one right across from it is because this is a straight angle. So that's 180 together, right? Um, so you could figure out what that one is. And if you know what this one is, and you know that's 90, we still got to know this one. Well, 60 plus this one adds up to 180, because that's the sunset, dilio, or whatever you want to call it, linear pair. So we can figure that that one's 120, because 60 and 120 is 180. So 120 plus whatever we figured out this one is, plus 90, and you can figure out that by doing 360 minus those. All right, if you didn't catch that, go back in this video and listen to that again. So, I have faith in you. <coughs> I think you can do it. All right, see you next time.